Hi everyone. So we're continuing our journey with Pixlr and today we are going to create a double exposed image and it's going to look something like this. Uh, I got the inspiration for this project actually straight from Pixlr. They do have a blog and so uh, on their blog they have directions for this project and those are the directions I'll have you go to. Here are some examples that they are showing and so when you say double exposure you usually create the double exposure with a camera meaning that if you had actual film, which is what we used to take photos with, um, you would actually expose the film twice. And so you would get these kind of like really interesting and unpredictable images. And so with the computer, as you know, we can do just about anything. And so now we can create double exposed images through the computer. And what's cool about it is that they can be meaningful, they can be poetic, they could be um, just interesting to look at. However, uh, it is a really interesting process to go through to learn how to create these. Again, you'll be going to this blog to learn how to do that. What we're going to do is first, we're going to start out with a silhouette. We're going to find an image of someone, something of a silhouette. And a silhouette is something like this, where you see you don't see details of the person or thing, you just see that it's uh, black or dark and the outline of the figure. And then we're going to choose an, a secondary image that somehow goes with the first image. So you wanna find something that isn't totally against the first image. Um, you, you know, think about, well, what is this image of? Where is this person? Is this about me? Um, you know, think about exactly what you are trying to convey. And then, so you're gonna choose two images. And so let's do that and then we'll go back. Um, so here is my example. I chose a silhouette of a girl on a mountain and an, and a flower. And so how did I do that? I actually did use stock search. Of course, you can go to Google if you'd like, but I love stock search um, only because the images are really awesome. And um, it is easy, actually. So I'm going to choose, I'm going to say silhouette of girl, let's say. So here are some silhouettes that maybe I didn't even see the other day. And so um, this one I find is really interesting as well. And I am going to, this is the one that I used over here. But for our example, let's use this one. I really like this. So I have that image. I'm going to say apply. Okay, I think that's really interesting. And I also have the image of the flower. So I chose that also from Pixlr. And so what you're going to do in the directions, it does tell you to um, select all and then copy from the edit menu. And to select all, you could do it two different ways. You can actually use this um, marquee select tool and you can simply select exactly what you want or you can select the entire image and by pressing, by pressing command A, oh, that's on my Mac, um, However, on your, let's see what you have on. So I would say Command A, you can experiment on your Chromebook as well. But I actually don't want the entire image. I want to crop some of it out. So what I am going to do is click. And for some reason, it only wants to give me a square. And I don't want a square. I want, huh. That's interesting. Okay, so things like that happen. Um, it didn't happen to me the other day, but for some reason it wants to. Here we go. Now that's what I wanted. Okay, so now I'm selecting the flower. Nope. Nope. There we go. Now I'm selecting the flower that I want. Nope. All right. It doesn't want to. It doesn't want to play along. I select all. Press copy. I'm going to come over to my image that I've just uploaded. I'm going to press control V and you're going to see over here in your um, layers that you have already your background image. And I'm going to put my flower as well. And what I want to do is this background image is locked. Um, 
can it be locked? Can it stay locked? That one can stay locked. However, if you do want to do something to this or move it, you have to unlock it. And so what you can do is come over here and unlocked. Um, I don't really like my images locked. So the next thing that you're going to do is I can move this. I do like the where it is. However, let's see what happens when I do uh, when I do actually change the I'm going to make this bigger because this oh because this actually could be really cool bigger. Okay, so now I have that, and if I go back to the directions, you might be hearing my dogs in the background. <laughs> they are playing. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is adjust to the layer settings. So I'm going to select the nature oriented layer, which is on the top and play around with the layer settings. You have a lot of choices here, but the two best bets for this technique are the screen and light blending modes. Experiment though with these until you find the one that works. Um, the next part, it does tell you that you can make a, additional adjustments. So if you go to adjustment, brightness and contrast or just or hue and saturation um, you can play further along I am asking you to make three of these images so please 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 experiment please read through the directions but first let me finish this image so I have this and so to blend your images you're going to come back here which is really cool blend mode perfect I'm going to click multiply and see what happens that's pretty cool. However, if you go to transparency, now you can kind of play around with this. See, what do you like? Do you like it just a little bit? You know, I can see the stars. Um, I, you know, look at that. Look at the way the silhouette's coming up. I think that is so cool. Um, you can also do screen. Screen's a little different. So screen is making the white background of the flower really pop out. If you had a black background, let's say, of a flower, you would probably see more of the stars like you can in the shadows. So play around with your foreground image as well. If you say you're losing a lot of the background image, but you want to see it, then choose something that does have a black background. Um, I'm going to go back. I do. Now you can also play around with other things as well. Okay, that's pretty cool. Now, if you just go down the list, like I am, you're going to see it's a lot of different ways that you can make this beautiful. This really doesn't do so much. Um, so my suggestion to you is to do that, is to go, that is so cool, um, is to definitely play around with all of these. That's even cooler. So please play around. Now, the th other thing that I want to share with you is I'm going to go back to multiply. And so in the directions, it does say, how about play around with the adjustment? And so let's go back to our layer. Let's make sure that that's selected. Go to adjustment. And now we can play around with any of these. So if you do that, let's see what happens. No, not so much. Contrast, that's pretty neat. If you like it, press apply. If you don't, press cancel. Just like we did with the other projects. You can play around here. That's interesting. Play around with the colors. That's pretty cool. If you like it, again, press apply. So I'm not going to go through all of these. However, again, you do have to make three of these. So my suggestion is that you do play around with all of these. In the end, in the end, you should have something like this. Um, what I did just there to make it really large was that I pressed Command-0 to make it large. If you want to, you may also use your uh, zoom tool or your magnifying tool. What do they say? Zoom tool. And um, if you would like to make your image smaller, press Shift and you can make it smaller or not press Shift and you can make it bigger. But, well, again, why I like, why I do like um, Unsplash is because the image is a very high resolution image, meaning that it is very clear and crisp. And so if I do go in more, you can see how crisp it is. Now, just one last thing, if I want to uh, crop this, which it did look pretty interesting as I was playing around with that, if I wanted to crop this, I would use the cropping tool, play around with that, and press apply. And that looks really interesting. So please play around with it. Please, uh, you know, when you're thinking about your images, 
please make sure that they are that they do go along with each other um, and that they do make sense together and uh, have fun with this. Have a lot of fun. All right, guys. I think that's about it. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.